अस्सलाम वालेकुम वीअर्स कैसे हैं आप सब लोग उम्मीद है कि आप सब लोग खैरियत से होंगे चलें आज हम अपने टॉपिक की तरफ चलते हैं डेट इज सॉल्व दी एन एम आर स्पेक्ट्रा ऑफ मिथाइल प्रोपियोनेट और केमिकल फार्मूला ऑफ मिथाइल प्रोपियोनेट इज सी फोर एच एट ओ टू देर आर फोर स्टेप्स एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस फोर स्टेप्स आर यूज टू सॉल्व एनी एन एम आर स्पेक्ट्रा फर्स्ट काउंट दी नंबर ऑफ दी पीक्स एज दी नंबर ऑफ पीक्स टेल्स अस अबाउट दी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ दी एटम्स सिमिलरली डिटरमाइंस दी केमिकल शिफ्ट वैल्यू केमिकल शिफ्ट वैल्यू टेल्स अस अबाउट दी वट काइंड ऑफ फंक्शनल ग्रुप आर प्रेजेंट इन इट दिस इज दी केमिकल शिफ्ट वैल्यू एंड दी कैलकुलेट इंटीग्रेशन वैल्यू इंटीग्रेशन टेल्स अस अबाउट हाउ मेनी काइंड ऑफ प्रोटोन और कार्बन आर प्रेजेंट इन दिन पीक डिटरमाइन इट्स नेबर्स बाई यूजिंग दी सप्लीटिंग पैटर्न सप्लीटिंग पैटर्न इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज इट गिव अस इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट इट्स नेबर एंड वी कैन जोर आवर फ्रेगमेंट्स यूजिंग दी सप्लीटिंग पैटर्न नेक्स्ट मूव टू आवर आई आर स्पेक्ट्रा फोर गोइंग टू आई आर स्पेक्ट्रा वी हैव टू लेट्स क्लियर इट वी हैव टू कंसिडर दिस एज दी कार्बोनाइल ग्रुप आर प्रेजेंट इन ऑल दीज फंक्शनल ग्रुप्स इट मे प्रेजेंट इन एली हाइड कीटोन कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड एस्टर एमाइड एंड हाइड्राइड एंड एसिड क्लोराइड सो इफ वी सा दी पीक्स इन दी कार्बोनाइल रीजन सो मे बी दीज ऑल काइंड ऑफ फंक्शनल ग्रुप मे बी प्रेजेंट बट इन दीज in the each in each ka functional group here we can uh, we can see that 1740 to 1720 region belongs to the aldehyde ketonic region shows a peak 1725 to 1705 carboxylic acid 1725 to 1700 ester 1750 to 1780 am i the, here this is 80 not 30 region hai एस्ट्रल ग्रुप शोज द पीक सेवनटीन फिफ्टी टू सेवनटीन थर्टी रीजन एम आई शोज इट्स पीक इन सेवनटीन एटी टू सेवनटीन थर्टी एंड हाइड्राइड शोज टू पीक एट एटीन टेन एंड सेवनटीन सिक्सटी सिमिलरली एटीन हंड्रेड रीजन बिलोंग्स टू दी एसिड क्लोराइड सो बाई यूजिंग दीज एपर सेंटीमीटर रीजन वी कैन फॉलो दैट विच काइंड ऑफ कार्बोनाइल ग्रुप प्रेजेंट इन आवर स्ट्रक्चर here we, we see our see our spectrum then in this region you can see that there is 1744 region this region belongs to carbonyl group so let's move to our carbonyl groups here you can see that 1744 region belongs to an ester group ester group shows peak at 1752 to 1730 region so here ir spectra gives us information about the presence of our spectrum next move to our next slide that is here Let's clear it. Now let's see our C13 NMR spectrum. This spectrum shows us three kinds of peak. One peak is here, as you can see. One peak is here, as you can see. This is due to the methyl. This is due to the CH2 group, and this peak also due to the methyl or the methane group. Um, as the methyl and the methane both shows the positive peak value, so we cannot differentiate between them. But this uh, negative peak value always gives us the information about the methylene group yeah, or CH2 group. Here, if we show, uh, we come to our proton decoupler spectrum. Proton decoupler spectrum is that spectrum which gives us information about the different kinds of the carbon that are present, including the quaternary carbon. As the depth does not gives us any information about the quaternary carbon, it gives information only about the three kinds of carbon that is CH two, CH three, and CH. But the proton decoupler spectrum also gives us information about the quaternary carbon. Quaternary carbon is that carbon. one which is not attached with any kind of the hydrogen atom here these are also three peaks that is corresponding to our depth spectrum this peak if you see that this peak is in this a straight line to this positive peak it means it gives us the same information this peak that is about uh, this peak gives us the information about the methyl carbon as it gives us the ppm value at about 10 ppm next if is say this this is due to the also due to the either the methyl or the methyl group here this is maybe due to the methane carbon or the maybe due to the methyl this gives us the peak at about the 40 and 50 at about 50 ppm 50 ppm means that 50 ppm 50 ppm means that our carbon is attached singly with the oxygen atom you have to remember that whenever our carbon is singly bonded with oxygen then the peak will be shown from 50 to 80 region okay 
Next, it means that this our group is attached with the oxygen atom. Next, this peak area. This area is due to the methylene and it shows a peak value at about the uh, 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30 and it means about 29 ppm value. Let's clear it and move to power. You can see that this is CH3. This is CH2. And this is, there is a conflict, it may be CH3. Or CH. It may be CH. It will, be clarified, it will be clarified in the proton and MR spectrum where we, should, uh, we, will have, uh, we will clarify it using the splitting pattern as we have already seen that the methyl gives us a, a, a separate splitting and the CH group will give us a, a separate splitting. Here if we consider this, uh, this peak as it about uh, 160, 170 and this is 180 at about 177 ppm. This 177 ppm region shows the values that it may be a carbonyl carbon of ester group or it may be a carbonyl carbon of carboxylic acid. These groups may be due to the ester or the carboxyl group. This will be clarified also in the proton NMR spectrum as the ester group does not give us the ppm value at 11 to 12 due to the hydrogen while the carboxylic acid gives us the information about the OH group at the 11 to 12 ppm value aster group does not gives us the this information let's clear it and now move to our nmr spectrum if we see here chemical shift value of the aster group so this comes at the 155 to 185 ppm or in this region also carboxylic acid falls down next if we see this is our proton nmr spectrum here you will see that that this is a triplet this is a quadrate and this is a singlet. As you have already known that triplet means that you have a H atom. Uh, obviously H atom here you have a H atom which is attached in its neighbor with the 2 H atom. It means that it is attached with the 2 H atoms. So as you have seen that this is a triplet which is attached in its neighbor uh, that gives us the information about the hydrogens that are attached with its neighbor with the two hydrogens and this is a quadrate it means that we have a hydrogen which is attached in its environment with the three hydrogen if we uh, consider it as a, which is a hydrogen which gives us a triplet and these are attached in its neighbor with the uh, three hydrogens so if we write it down here s and s so you will get a ch3 which is attached with the methyl group due to these two peaks if, if this is a singlet which comes out at the ppm value of about the 3.6 ppm as you already know that the 3.6 ppm region falls in the region where the our hydrogen atom is present in the environment of oxygen so it may be maybe possibility that this peak is due to our hydrogen atoms that are present attached with the oxygens or in the neighbor of the oxygen atom so this is the ch3 group which is attached with the ch2 that is why this gives us a triplet if this is a and this is our cartridge that is due to the ch2 group and this is our singlet and singlet this is attached with the oxygen atom if we consider the ppm value of this you will consider that this is present at about 2.2 .2 ppm value this ppm value may be due to the group that the hydrogen group this 2 ppm this 2 ppm value is due to the that our hydrogens atoms are present in the environment of the carbonyl carbon so here i write it and this 
and uh, if i change the color now and attached here is the oxygen because this will be present in the form of the ester as we have already clarified from the nir and nmr now you see that here our of this group our is attached with the oxygen atom here we write our ch3 group now the question arises how we know that this is a ch3 group we know this above from the integration value as this integration value this integration value and this integration value this integration value tells us the three value this gives us two integration value this gives us three integration value now i have already tell you how to determine the integration value from my from my previous videos i will post the link below if you do not know you can uh, click uh, below and now how to determine the integration values it may be given in the digital form or it may be we can we clarify it from the scale value here we know that there are three hydrogens are present so we attach the three hydrogen atoms to oxygen atom similarly here we know that three hydrogens are present that are in the vicinity of the two hydrogen so we attach here three hydrogen in the vicinity of two hydrogen here this is a quadrate it means that our hydrogens that is present in the environment of three hydrogen so here we integration value gives us the two hydrogen it means two, two hydrogens that are present in the environment of the three hydrogens these two hydrogens are in the same environment so they are these two are considered as the one hydrogen as we have already seen in our splitting pattern video now this gives us the gives us the information now this gives us the information about our structure that is the methyl propionate now let's clear it and move to our next slide this is the methyl propionate ch3 o c double bond o ch2 and ch3 this is our methyl propionate thank you so much for viewing this and i hope you will guys like it